I'm Ryan O'Halloran, Jaguars beat writer from the Florida Times Union. We're outside Everbank Field. Week three of the search for an offensive coordinator has begun. Coach Gus Bradley has cast a wide net. He's not limiting himself to guys who he's been on staffs with in Seattle or Tampa Bay. Not limiting himself to guys who have play calling or head coaching or coordinator experience. I think that's a good move. You know, one thing he does have is some time. Uh, the, the fact that other head coaching openings around the league haven't been filled means he has to play a little bit of a waiting game. Let's say he wants to bring in a guy on a, a multi-year contract, but a new team's offering him more years or more money. You know, that guy's gonna wait and make a decision. So what Gus has done so far is interviewed Kirby Wilson, the Minnesota running backs coach, Greg Roman, the San Francisco offensive coordinator, and now they've asked permission to receive it to talk to Jets running backs coach Anthony Lynn. Obviously Roman's not the guy, he's in Buffalo, gonna be Rex Ryan's coordinator up there. I don't think Wilson or Lynn ultimately will be the guy. You know, it's it's it's, it's still out there and I think it's gonna happen here in the next two weeks and you know, let's go back to what is Gus looking for as a coordinator? You know, everybody says run first. I don't think that's necessarily the case. They just want to run better. This team has, hasn't been a great running team since Maurice Jones drew one a rushing title a couple years ago. I think the best way to, to run better is to draft one in the second round, Todd Gurley, Melvin Gordon, et cetera, et cetera. So I think Gus is looking for is somebody who can help develop Blake Bortles, get these receivers involved, and just make bigger plays. The best way to do that with the Jaguars is run it effectively to set up the play action throw it downfield. If you run it effectively, the safety has to come closer to the line of scrimmage. The Jaguars can work the middle of the field, work the deep middle, something they weren't able to do the last two years. So that's just a little bit of insight into the offensive coordinator search. I think something's going to happen before the Super Bowl, but after this, after this staff leaves from Mobile on Monday. I'm Ryan O'Halloran for the Florida Times Union.